I'm Jeff, this is Josh, we're from the FX Design Team. Today, we're going to have a series of video content that's going to explain how we can install heating paver elements. It's going to be supplied by Warmark, they're out of Connecticut. We spoke about them quite often in the past and now we're doing a uh, full-blown renovation at my own house. We're using their product, we've partnered up to do this so we can get the content out to you so that you can see just how well it's going to work and how easy the installation will be for your own house renovation. So I'm going to give it off to Josh. He's going to show you a cross section of a uh, walkway structure that you'll uh, face in your installation. Josh, why don't you explain to everybody what's entailed? So here we have a sample size of what would happen if you were putting in a brand new walkway, driveway, patio with the warm-up mat. So we start off right here, we have our, a dig down uh, to the depth that you need, and you would put your reinforcement with your concrete or rebar uh, for your rebar in the concrete. Uh, this application we have a uh, crush aggregate which you can also use but you could use poured concrete as well you want to pour that concrete about uh, three quarters of an inch below the form uh, whatever you formed out uh, and then lay your warm-up mat right across uh, that base layer of the crush aggregate or concrete which at that point you can put your sand down straight right off of your form and then you're ready to lay your pavers uh, with that warm-up mat right underneath all of that. So we're walking you back to our renovation here, um, partnering up with Warm Up. Here we have uh, the Warm Up wire coming through on the stoop uh, and the, the steps. So if you see up top here, you'll see the wires are uh, looped around three inches or more apart uh, through the landing. And then they come down right here on a riser. Uh, come back down, loop again on the tread of the bluestone. And all this is embedded in concrete. Uh, and that's uh, important to make sure that you do is have every all the wires embedded right in the concrete uh, so that they warm up properly. Uh, and in doing that, uh, it's not only going to keep the snow off, but it's actually gonna keep them dry uh, through that snowfall. And so again, we have them looped through, again, come down the riser, looped again. And in this application, we have something that uh, we didn't install it yet. Uh, just so you guys could see how it's installed. Uh, in this application, we have the fixing bands here uh, to help with the ease of installation uh, for the wire. And they uh, basically just hold the wire down, making it easier to install for you. So again, you'll see the wire looped across, uh, again, three inches or more apart. And in this right here, this is what you don't want to have. We will eventually encase this in the concrete but you don't want to have any part of the wire exposed when you're installing. So make sure again that it's enclosed in the concrete underneath the treads and in doing so it's going to keep your stoop not only with no snow but dry through the whole winter. 